Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica Data Quality. In today's session, we will see a brief view on the transformations which are used in the Data Quality Developer tool. What is transformations? Transformations are actually used to pass the data from input port through the output port, especially in the mapping. And by using these objects, we can modify the data or we can pass the data to achieve the a data quality. If you want to generate a data, of course, we can do the generation of data using the transformation as well. Now, the next thing comes, can we create a reusable transformation? Yes, we can create a reusable transformation and use those either in the maplet or in the mapping. However, if you make a single chain in a reusable map, uh, reusable transformation, all those changes will be reflected across the, all the maplets and the mapping where these transformations are used. Types of transformation. There are basically two types of transformation. First is data integration transformation. Second is data quality transformations. So let's have a look on that. Data integration transformations. Data integration transformations are the transformations from the Informatica Power Center and available to all users. So what are the general, general transformations available in the Informatica data developer? Those are nothing but the, those are coming from the Power Center. So those are treated as a data integration transformation. What are those? The data integration transformations are aggregator, custom data, expression, filter, Java, joiner, rank, and some more. So let's have a look on each. Aggregator transformation. It is used to perform the aggregation of aggregation functionality. Custom data. Using the custom data transformation, we can process the data in unstructured or semi-structured file format. So if you know the the database have the tables and column, which is like structured data, but there may be the log files or which is not structured, which is not defined one. So for that, we can use a custom data transformation. Expression, it is used to <coughs> perform row level calculation. So expression are used to perform any row level calculation. Filters, if you want to achieve like filter condition, suppose you want to perform only uh, operation only on the person type of data, not on the organization. So you can use a filter expression or filter transformation to filter the data or to the filtering logic. Then we have the Java transformation. It is used to allow the Java syntax to be used within the Informatica. The next transformation is a joiner, which joins the heterogeneous sources. So normally if the source, uh, if the data is coming from multiple sources or multiple tables, you can use the joiner. Or if the output is going to be a uh, com combination of multiple mappings, then you can use the joiner transformation. The next data tra integration transformation is rank, which set the condition for the row included in a rank. The further more number, uh, the further Transformations are router, sorter, union, update strategy, read, write, lookup, case, and merge. So let's have a look one by one on this data integration transformation. The router is used to route the rows conditionally, means we can use the conditional operational here in the map uh, in the mapping to route the output after specific condition is achieved. Sorter is definitely by name itself such so that it is used for the sorting the data. Suppose if you want to sort based on your employee ID, or if you want to sort the data based on the alphanumeric on the first name or the full name, you can use the sorter transformation. Union to combine the output, of course, or so to combine the two outputs and make one single result. Union performs a union all join between the two data sets. Update strategy means if you are going to do any update operation. It tags the row for the update, insert, delete, or reject. 
so if any of this operation you want to achieve you can use the update strategy the next transformation is read is used to read the data from the logical data object write is used to write to the logical data object those are very straightforward the next thing is lookup that is more frequently used in the mapping or i would say in every project at least we have one lookup transformation lookups the values and passes them to other objects mostly we know the standardization is the main feature of the idq and that can be achieved using the lookup means we can create a reference table for the lookup purpose and we can use the lookup on those components such as the suppose party type or gender type state uh, so those kind of uh, lookups we can use the next transformation is case changes the case of data so we can if you want to change the case of data you can use the case data integration transformation the next is merge used to concatenate values so if there are two strings are coming we can use the merge transformation to concatenate the values and the next and so so far what are the trans uh, transformation we have seen about that is data integration transformation those are already available in the power center then what are the new in the idq so that is treated as uh, that will come as a data quality transformation data quality transformation mostly concentrated on the quality of the data and these are address validator association comparison consolidation decision key generator etc so these type of transformations available to the data quality license user only if you do not have the license you will not get this uh, transformation so you have to get the license first for this transformation address validator actually by the name itself suggests this is going to use for the validating only address fields so it examines uh, input addresses and output the corrected addresses element and the validation information whether the address is valid with a v1 v2 v3 or v4 or v5 uh, type so uh, internally uses the address doctor to validate the addresses association it create the link between the duplicate records that are assigned to different match cluster so they can be associated together for the consolidation if you remember the dupli duplicate is one of the dimension of the data of uh, data quality so we have to reduce the duplicacy and that can be achieved using the association because it is going to uh, dedupe or it is going to ref it is going to ref refer the a single record instead of multiple record comparison it evaluate the similarity between the pairs of the input values by using the comparison you can use a conditional um, transformation and use the particular or only one record out of multiple record by comparing uh, multiple record using comparison transformation consolidation of course the name suggests it is going to consolidate the record it create a single consolidated record from the cluster of match record suppose you have the 10 or 20 or more than that number of record which are match we need to consolidate those records and that is achieved through the consolidation the next is decision it evaluates the conditions and creates output based on those condition so in order to make any decision we have to use the decision transformation which is comes under the data quality key generator of course every business or every entity has a unique identifier and if business is going to provide then that is well and good if business is not providing then the data quality has the key generator which can be used to identify record uniquely key generator organizes the record into group based on the data values in the column ahead of matching the other data quality transformations are labeler match parser standardizer weighted average and the exception the labeler actually create the labels which describe the type of character or the strength in the each field match of course this is a part of the match and merge transformation match definitely identifies the candidate before going to consolidate or before going to merge it calculate uh, match transformation actually calculate the degree of similarity between the input records and generates a score based on the level of similarity 
means using that score we can identify whether a record is going to consolidate or not the parser which read the field containing the multiple transformation types and create new output field for the each type of data mean it is nothing but it is going to pass the data as per the trans, uh, parsing logic standard uses uses you at is this transformation is used to remove the noise characters from the field and to standardize the data weighted average it reads the scores generated by the comparison transformation and generates a weighted average score based input so it is like the sub transformation after the comparison transformation which will help to achieve the business implementation exception so if some exception is expected or like the custom exception we need to throw if the data condition is not achieved then we can use this exception transformation which is used to create the tables required for the dqa so these are the transformations involved in the informatica data quality we have the pre-existing transformation those are called as a uh, data integration transformation the new transformations are called as a data quality transformation so th these two types of transformations come with the informatica data developer i hope this will definitely enhance your knowledge base about the transformation which are available in the data quality developer thank you for watching my video do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting update about the idq Thank you and have a nice time.